This plant room is a disaster and a half. Today I'm cleaning and organizing my plant room. It looks okay like from this angle, but I'm telling you it is an absolute disaster in here. I've been just coming in here, filming my videos, leaving stuff everywhere. It's such a disaster in here that I've been just avoiding it. I know we probably all have that room in our house that's such a mess that we, it's just overwhelming to even think about it. And that's this is that room for me, but I can't just ignore it because my plants are in here and it's so bad that it's to the point I don't even wanna come in here and take care of my plants and they're suffering for it. So I thought I'd make this video, one, to hold myself accountable and two, just to show that we're all living life and doing our stuff and that none of us are perfect no matter what anyone shows on social media. Like no one has just a perfect, beautiful, like everything looks, fabulous all the time house. Like we're all out there living life and that is totally fine. So this is a no judgment zone channel. Um, we're all accepting and welcoming of each other and our realness in life. So everything, like I said, is really, really a mess. I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm talking about. Oh, so looks good back here, right? Okay, yeah, the rug is messed up and you can see some leaves, but when I turn it around, <laughs> it is an absolute trash hole in here. Um, everything is everywhere. It's so incredibly cluttered. My plants are all unorganized and just like everywhere. I had a ton of ladybugs in here. A lot of them have died. So there's like, I know it's so sad, but there's like little ladybugs around. This closet, you see how it can't even close? That's because, <laughs> my dog tricky. The reason this closet doesn't even close is because it all, I had it piled up full of stuff and everything collapsed in there. I'll go open it so you guys can see what I'm talking about because today I'm going to, look at that mess. Oh my God, trash hole closet. So I bought some shelves from Ikea a while ago. I'm gonna put those shelves together if I can have enough energy. Plant room, step one, closet step two. I'm not, it's not gonna be perfect. This isn't like an aesthetic room. This is a fun room where I get to like keep all my plants and all my crazy pots and like, it's just an Ashley crazy room. I'm gonna get it done, it's gonna be great. And hopefully this will be inspiring for anybody out there that maybe has a similar project. We can do it, we can do it. So, you know, probably a little ambitious to try to conquer all of this in one day. So if I need to do this into two days, I will. We're coming into winter time, so a lot of my plants are dropping leaves, turning yellow, and I went through this last year, but it's always a little stressful. Like I always wonder, are my plants dying? Are they dying? And it's really just because it's winter time and a lot of the, the leaves start dropping. I have my little helper. First step I think is going to be moving a bunch of this stuff out of here. Okay, I'm having such a hard time getting motivated. All right, so I'm gonna count down and when I get to one, I'm gonna jump up and do this. Three, two, one. Let's go. She's so funny. What are you doing, babe? I look like Jane Fonda. Enough of that. This is good. My poor Choco. It got hammered with the thrips um, outbreak, but the systemic granules did a good job kind of knocking it out, that and the ladybugs. So beautiful. I love this plant. Alright, 
feels easier once you get going on something, right? You know, this vacuum, I think was $39.99 and it's been great. It's some sort of Thistle vacuum, but I need another one. Like this one's super old now. So I'm thinking maybe one of those fancy Dyson ones. Especially with all my plant stuff and it's like I'm always vacuuming. So if you guys have any recommendations for a good vacuum, lots of dead leaves, all super normal. So sad, Piper Crocatum, I can never keep these alive. They do not like to be thirsty for any period of time. Ugh. I'm using Lysol wipes, it's great. It will also help if there are any pests on any surface, it will annihilate them or any eggs or anything like that. That corner looks so much better. I think for now I'm just gonna leave this rug in here um, to protect the carpet. But I need to get a new outdoor rug for sure. I feel good, got some momentum going. Gonna keep this, keep this momentum going. Cleaning up this area, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice to not have to deal with that anymore. And then once this room is cleared out, it's gonna be great because I can put these plants on, on planks that are not painted. As you can see, like they're throwing out runners and stuff, but there's nothing for them. They can't attach to these planks because they're painted. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, I feel good, keeping it going. This is not where this belongs. <laughs> My friend Cass, who I did a plant tour of all of her beautiful plants at her house, she showed me the trick that she weatherproofed her IKEA greenhouse cabinet with Gorilla Tape. So I'm gonna do that today as well. I tried to do like a cool loungewear outfit and I just ended up looking like one of the Golden Girls or like Jazzercise. Okay. It's already feeling so much more clean in here. So I'm gonna adjust this rug. I This rug has been great. It was an outdoor rug that I purchased from Ikea, but I have the hardest time with it. You probably notice it in my videos where it's kind of bunched up against my plant shelves and it just, for some reason, it can't seem to hold its shape. So I think I'll get another one, but for now I'm gonna keep it. This rug, I swear, it's so misshapen. It's just a real POS. Maybe if I spin it around. That looks better. This little baby was having a complete and utter meltdown because it was 10 minutes past dinner time for her. So, pretty tendons. Okay, let's get you fed. We need to get you a little matching, uh, matching outfit with me. You look cute in Golden Girls attire. All three of us can match. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. I wanna show you guys my my tea collection. It's like my new recent obsession. Here's my teas. I love them so much. I've been researching medicinal teas and the benefits of all of the different kinds. And I ordered the loose leaf tea. And then I found these at the dollar store. They were so expensive on Amazon. And I found these for literally $1.25 from the dollar store. And I have these really cute little wooden scoops that I ordered from Amazon. I picked out this chamomile lavender blend. Isn't it so beautiful? I know this isn't plant related, so skip forward if you don't want to watch the like section about teas. But I'm super into it and I don't have anyone else to share it with. So 
I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna put in a little bit of butterfly pea flower. It has a lot of benefits. Like, look how pretty those little flowers are. And you put a little bit of lime in there and it changes the color. I don't have lemon, so I just put a little bit of lime. So cool. This is the cutest little BSEA that I have under here. And this is the old leaf that's dying. And then it has this brand new beautiful leaf that is coming out. And I have a little grow light system set up here. Actually, let me wipe this down under here too. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna like pull off that leaf. It's kind of a shame because I have this whole corner and I don't do anything with it, like hardly any plants, um, because there's no light. So I'm thinking of setting up maybe a Soltec Solutions grow light so that I can really have a lot of plants on this wall. Um, oops. Got a lot of stuff to <laughs> put back. Look at this beautiful philodendron gigantum blizzard. It is such a beautiful plant. I'm definitely gonna talk about it in a video because I just love it so much. I was just looking at this Stanleyana. I mean, you can see the two old leaves that are dying off, but even so it has like new leaves coming out. Like look at this beautiful half moon it just put out. So, you know, it's okay. I'm gonna trim it off. So I think trimming it down is helpful to the plant. This little euphorbia is adorable. A little variegated one. I'm gonna put it in the window with my other cacti. And Aglianema can come here, she's a beauty. So I have here my beautiful Cupria, which I am still totally in love with. It was left sat in a little bit of water, so some of the leaves died off. I think it got a little bit of root rot, but it's making a comeback. It has new growth coming out. Like really, really fabulous plants. Cut off some of those leaves and let it make its comeback. All right, first of all, it feels so much better in here. I can see all my plants. I feel like I'll be able to come in here and do the things I need to do. I mean, it's still full up of plants, but it just feels so much cleaner and manageable. Now I was overly ambitious. I wasn't able to tackle the closet or wipe, dip, wipe down the shelves. Um, and I still wanna put Gorilla Tape a weather stripping in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. So I'd still have some projects. Um, so I'll do a part two of kind of continuing, organizing, cleaning, setting up my plant room. And I definitely have decided that I want to put some grow lights. I'll show you guys. I wanna put some grow lights over here in this corner. Like, as you can see, I have like all of these plants here off of this one little tiny Bright Labs grow light, but nothing over here. And I definitely need to like do something about that. But I'll give you the tour. Look how clean. I'm so excited. Lots of jungle vibes, which I'm so into, but it's just, much more organized. I feel like now I can go through, kind of look at my plants. I want to fill this back up with plants and reorganize them and put them in pots and just really take my time and, and work on some projects with my plants. Now that it's like tidier in here, I can kind of look through and it doesn't feel crazy overwhelming anymore. So the next project is in here still. 
just a disaster um, but I have shelves and I'm gonna put them together tomorrow I'm filming a Hoya care guide I've learned so much about Hoyas and I'm really excited to kind of share all the knowledge I've learned but it was such a disaster in here that I've been procrastinating on it so I feel like I can get back into making exciting content again so I have some momentum going now and thank you for tagging along with me this has inspired me and, and motivated me to do this and I hope this uh, helps you help somebody else get inspired to do whatever project they've been procrastinating on and also like we're all in it together it's okay to like tackle it one step at a time like i couldn't do it all today and that you know it's fine so this was a little bit of different content than i normally film which is like plant shopping and plant care and stuff like that it was really just vlogging <laughs> hey will you clean with me um but i like watching videos like that i find it relaxing so hopefully you guys liked this content and if you want to see future planty videos showing up in your newsfeed make sure to subscribe and we have a great community on instagram so yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day you'll definitely be seeing me soon bye